Hi guys, welcome to Egg Guru channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about battery sulfation. Before going to the video, please watch the content of other videos. If you like the content, do subscribe the channel. So here we can see the first image is a healthy healthy battery terminal. The second one is a battery terminal which is affected by the sulfation. So this battery sulfation leads to decrease in the battery life as well as it decreases the the capacity of a battery so in order to uh, increase the battery life and in order to use the battery effectively we have to avoid the battery sulfation so here we can see some of the images of a battery terminals which are affected by the sulfation so first two uh, images are the uh, mild battery sulfation nothing but the sulfation effect is not severe in both the battery terminals so here the third one is the the hard sulfation or it is a severe battery sulfation so this uh, will occur whenever the battery is left discharged for a longer times so here is how the outside of a battery looks like when it is affected by the battery sulfation the inside of a battery is looks like this when it is affected by the battery sulfation the positive and negative plates are covered by the lead sulfates so that we can call it as the battery sulfation so before going in detail uh, to the battery sulfation let us understand uh, the chemical reaction while discharging of a battery so uh, basically uh, a battery consists of a, a positive electrode and a negative electrode so here the positive electrode is a uh, lead dioxide and the lead dioxide and the negative electrode is a lead and the uh, the solution is the h2so4 and h2o so the combination of h2 h2o and h2so4 is decided in our uh, in, by getting the required specific gravity nothing but uh, uh, most of the cases 30% uh, will be the h2so4 part and the remaining 70% uh, will be filled with the distilled water nothing but the h2o during the discharging process of a battery so the activity at a negative electrode so we can see here the negative electrode is nothing but the lead electrode that is nothing but the pb so this electrode is converted into lead ions by releasing the two electrons so then it will become pb plus 2 so these um, uh, lead ions immediately uh, react with the so4 2 minus and then forms the lead sulfates lead sulfates on the negative electrode nothing but pb pb so4 or the lead sulfates on the negative electrodes so similarly uh, if you see uh, the activity at the positive plate so positive plate is a lead dioxide plate pbo2 so so that this will uh, dissolve into lead ions pb plus and then it uh, releases the o2 ions into the solution and then the solution consists of a, uh, a sulfates nothing but so4 2 minus so this will form the sulfates PbSO4 and the oxygen ions are released from the oxygen ions released from the and the a positive a positive electrode will react with the H plus ions in the solution it will forms the H2O nothing but so here two H plus ions will be uh, combined with the one oxygen molecule and then it forms the H2O so that we can see here um, H2SO4 solution is uh, this one and the uh, lead sulfates so nothing but lead dioxide so that can be converted into lead sulfates which will form uh, lead sulfate crystals on the uh, positive electrode and the water so here as if you see in both the situations at the positive electrode as well as the at the negative electrode the lead sulfates forms on the electrodes so these are nothing but the the lead sulfate crystals on the positive and negative 
electrodes will looks like the battery sulfation so this will restrict the the electrons flow nothing but this will restrict the the charging and discharging current thereby it will decrease the the capacity of a battery as well as if you left these um, lead sulfates on the electrodes so that will cause the decrease in the battery life so here we can see at the end of normal discharge so that results resulting in sulfation of the positive and negative plates so that will comprise composed of a very fine lead sulfate pbso4 crystals in both the electrodes so here we can see um, the battery terminals which are affected by the battery sulfation so this one is the inside how it looks like so when it is affected by the battery sulfation so if uh, the uh, battery sulfation is uh, milded so that can be uh, uh, removed or uh, the battery can be restored by a process called equalization so equalization is nothing but so we will uh, charge the batteries uh, all batteries with equal voltage so here we can see all batteries are uh, charged around 2.5 volts so that can be uh, given in a data sheet if you buy the battery if you buy a battery they will give a um, data sheet in the data sheet they will mention what is the equalizing voltage of that battery so then so we are um, charging the uh, batteries up to that uh, equalizing voltage so that will uh, remove the um, the uh, sulfate crystals on the positive and negative plates so that uh, we will call it as the equalization process so once again the equalization process is nothing but so first we will uh, discharge the batteries and then we will charge the batteries up to equalizing voltage so in this uh, charging process uh, the sulfates on the positive and negative electrodes uh, will be uh, dissolved so when the sulfation is uh, not normal nothing but this will exist uh, uh, nothing but we can call it as a it is a hot sulfation so if a battery is a left discharger for extended period of time so then it is uh, not call it as a normal sulfation the hot uh, sulfate crystals of forms on the surface of a positive and then negative uh, plates so that we will call it as a hot sulfation it is a not a normal sulfation so heavy flat sulfation is not easily removal by recharging or a over time uh, is completely irreversible by recharging so we cannot remove the hot crystals by using the equalizing process so for that we have uh, another process so that uh, heavy sulfation uh, can be removed by using a, a desulfation device so here what uh, we will do is so we will uh, excite the batteries with high frequency signal generator so this high frequency uh, this high frequency signal generator will induce mechanical resonance and thereby we can remove the the hot sulfate crystals on the positive end and negative plates so this is a uh, nothing but uh, the battery sulfation so the battery sulfation is uh, is of two types uh, normal sulfation and heavy uh, hot sulfation so this normal sulfation can be uh, restored by uh, equalizing a uh, process and the hot sulfation or heavy sulfation requires a desulfation device nothing but a high frequency signal generator so thank you guys thanking you having your time